four, an introduction to probability. First thing first, we need to define what probability is. A probability is the proportion of times the outcome would occur in a very long series of repetitions. Our notation is we use a capital letter P and then we do parentheses <coughs> and then inside the parentheses is what outcome we're looking for. And the values of this are going to range from zero to one. For example, we have a rolling of dice, or a die. We know that a die has six sides, so we can roll the numbers one, two, three, four, five, or six. If it's a fair die, then every one of these has an equal chance of being rolled, which means that the probability of rolling a one is one-sixth. The probability of rolling a two is one-sixth. 3, 1, 6, 4, 1, 6, 5, 1, 6, and so on. And the probability of rolling a 6 is 1, 6. What this means is if you rolled a die 6 times, you're probably not going to get the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 each one time. But if you rolled your die 100 times, or 1,000 times, or a million times, then the proportion of times that you roll a 1 will be approximately 1, 6. And actually, the more times you roll your die, the larger that number of experiments is, the more likely you are to be at that one-sixth number. OK. This brings us to sample space. Sample space is the set, which means, yes, we use set notation, but it's a set of all possible outcomes. We like to say that set notation is a capital S, and then we use our brackets because this is a set of elements. And we'll have elements A, B, C, D, and so on. So for our rolling of a die example, we know that the possible outcomes are, we could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. If you want another example, just to make this clear, you could say the possibilities of what the numbers on your die add to. So if you roll two dice, the sum of their numbers. So we, that sample space would be, at lowest, we could have a 1 and a 1, which gives us 2. Then we get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way up to a 6 plus a 6, which is 12. The sample space is just what possible outcomes could we have. It's a listing of everything that could happen. And now we need to look at an event. An event is any outcome or set of outcomes. of a random phenomenon. And this is a subset of the sample space. So for example, we might want to know the probability of a 1. In that case, the event is rolling a 1, in which case we have a 1, 6. We, want, we might want to know the probability of rolling an odd number. So the event is rolling an odd, which is the probability of a 1 or a 3 or a 5. So the event in this first one is, a pro is rolling a 1. The event in the second example is a 1, a 3, or a 5. 